welcome to our first episode of Lost Airfields. Ted and I are at RAF Kingscliff, a former Royal Air Force satellite station located near the village of Kingscliff in Northamptonshire. It is not far from the active Royal Air Force Wittering. The construction of RAF Kingscliff began in 1940 and began operating in 1941 as a satellite station for RAF Wittering. It was home to both the Royal Air Force and the United States Army Air Force. The first squadron to arrive at RAF Kings Cliff was 133 Fighter Squadron, who brought with them their Spitfire Mark Vs on the 29th of September 1941. 133 Squadron were known as the 3rd Eagle Squadron and formed in RAF Fighter Command. Several squadrons were based here at RAF Kings Cliff, which included 75, 91, 93, 266, and 485 Squadron. Founded in 1942 as part of the Free Belgian Forces during World War II, 349 Squadron, the Belgian Squadron, were also based here for a brief time. Today 349 Squadron are an honorary squadron which have retained its original name and numbering. They have been flying under the Belgian flag ever since and some of their wonderful F-16s can be seen flying with their wonderful livery of their legacy. At the end of January 1942, 616 Squadron moved to Kings Cliff, but was stationed here only until the 3rd of July 1942. 616 Squadron had with them their legendary flying ace Johnny Johnson, who later became a squadron leader with 610 Squadron, and this was days after the squadron left Kings Cliff. Nicknamed Johnny, he claimed 34 victories along with shared victories and flew over 700 operational sorties. Johnny flew several missions a month at Kingscliff and while his Spitfire was a match for the BF-109s, Johnny then engaged with the Fokker Wolf FW-190s. According to Johnny, the Spitfire could only outperform the 190 in a turn, but all changed when a new mark of Spitfire came out. The 190 claimed many Spitfire squadron casualties and Johnny did manage to claim a damaged FW190 on the 15th of April 1942. Johnny said, yes, the 190 was causing us real problems at this time. We could outturn it, but you couldn't turn all day. As the number of 190s increased, so the depth of our penetrations decreased. They drove us back to the coast, really. In his career, he became Air Vice Marshal James Edgar Johnson with CB, CBE, DSO and two bars, a DFC and bar and DL. The Royal Air Force ceased to operate here at RF Kings Cliff in August 1943 on the same year that the airfield was extended. The United States Army Air Force were assigned to Kingscliff as Station 367 and became the most northerly and furthest west of all 8th Air Force fighter stations. The problem was, for the United States Army Air Force, was that the nearest fighter area to have escort flights was over 50 miles west. The first United States Army Air Force Squadron to arrive was 347 Fighter Squadron 
arrived in December 1942 with the Bell P-39s. The 347th were part of the 350th fighter group who were located at RAF Duxford. In January 1943, the 56th fighter group of the United States Army Air Force's 8th Air Force arrived at Kings Cliff from Bridgeport, Army Air Force Connecticut with 347th Fighter Squadron returning to RAF Duxford. The group consisted of the following squadrons, 61st, 62nd and 63rd Fighter Squadrons. Today, these three squadrons fly the F-35 Lightning II. The 56th Fighter Group didn't actually fly any operational missions from RAF Kings Cliff, but spent its time learning RAF fighter control procedures and training for combat with their Republic P-47 Thunderbolts. The 56 transferred to the 65th and left Kings Cliff in 1943. On the 26th of August 1943, the 20th Fighter Group arrived from March Army Air Force, California. The group was under the command of 67th Fighter Wing of the 8th Fighter Command. Squadrons here were the 55th, the 77th and the 79th Fighter Squadrons who flew the Lockheed P-38 Lightnings and the North American P-51D Mustang. The 20th were identified by their black and white stripes along the cowlings and tails of their aircraft. Today, the three fighter squadrons fly the F-16s. The 20th fighter group entered combat with Lockheed P-38 Lightnings late in December 1943 and for several months were engaged primarily in escorting heavy and medium bombers to targets on the continent. The group retained escort as its primary role until the end of the war, but in March 1944 they began to fly fighter bomber missions which became almost as frequent as escort operations. The squadron strafed and dive bombed various targets such as airfields, trains, vehicles, barges, bridges, flak positions, gun emplacements, barracks, radio stations and other targets over France, Belgium and Germany. The 20th were known as the Loco Group because of their attacks on locomotives. The 20th engaged in the Battle of the Bulge by escorting bombers to the battle area. They flew patrols to support the airborne attack across the Rhine in March 1945 and continued to escort fighter bomber missions until the end of April 1945. The 20th Fighter Group inactivated on the 18th of December 1945.
After the war, the field was used by the Royal Air Force for armament storage until being sold and returned to agricultural use in January 1959. Right, sir, go fit here, right, sir. 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 Right, s